Inside GraphCMS, we have a room model. We'll go ahead and add a new asset field. We'll enable the allow multiple assets field option. This will allow us to upload multiple images per room. Now we've added that field to our model. Now let's go ahead and edit some content. We'll create our first room and you can see we can now upload a asset or image. I can drag multiple images into this model and click upload and these will automatically be uploaded to the graph CMS CDN. Because we allowed multiple, we can also change the order in which these images are returned. Let's go ahead and save and publish. And you'll notice because these assets are new or have changed, we'll need to publish these assets as well because they are treated as first class citizens and they are their own content entry types. Next, instead of the API playground, we will search for the room model type. Inside of here, we can see that we have a query or a field for images that we can query and it returns an array of assets. Assets are a default model and they're a system model that comes automatically with every project. They have their own fields you can query. And in this case, we'll query a few, including the all important URL field. Now let's make a query to get the URL of all of our images. And you can see here, if we copy this URL and open it in a new tab, we get that same image we dragged from our local machine into Graph CMS. What you may have noticed inside of the documentation is that the URL field also takes a GraphQL argument. The argument here is a transformation. And specifically on the image, we can choose to resize this. Now, if we open this new transformation URL, you'll see that this is transformed and that is now cached. If we change some of these values, we can also specify the certain fit. Here, we'll choose the crop option, and this will return a new URL with a new image that will be cached for our newly cropped image. Let's go ahead and remove all of that and make a query to fetch the file name and anything else you would like. Next, if we have a look inside of the assets manager, we can see all of the assets we have uploaded. We can go in here and we can edit, we can add custom fields and work on all of that inside of here, or we could delete these inside of the asset manager and then they will be removed and disconnected from that room model. So if we open the content for our room, you'll see here we no longer have any images. Assets are not restricted to images only. You can use any other file type, including PDFs, documents, videos, GIFs, or GIFs, and anything else. Check out the documentation to learn more about assets and transformations.